Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Put down the water and grab a fucking drink. drink, 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 drink. Yes! Yeah. We it's might like, be cheating. It is Sorry. New Year's Eve, kids. It's Hi, Eleanor. New Year's Eve. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Who, who do we have on New Year's Eve? Who's our special Some, guest I, over there? Well, they're in front of me. They're far prettier than Jared, so it's a good oh, start to the show. Oh, far prettier. What does that mean? She's got a bigger dick than you. Yeah. Wait, oh, she got is a, that how you measure prettiness? 100%. Did she, like, does she have that cyborg an dick? okay looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She's New got Year's a stick Eve like cyborg. Who, who's over there, Jared? Is, is, is it one of your tinders? Uh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Fuck it, you, why not? Where did you meet this <laughs> New, one? New Year's Eve, you know. Grinder, she catfished me. Yeah. I oh, thought it was God. a dude. It showed up it was a girl. Ew. Man, she'll work. Icky. I know. Fine. Which one well, you ain't got no penis? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got one of them pee pee's. You ain't got one of them pee pee's. I want one of them pee pee's. <laughs> but you got a BB. <laughs> What, what's her name? What's that. what's this lovely Eleanor. lady's name? Eleanor. 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 Like Roosevelt. Ellen. Eleanor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like Roosevelt. That's a great name yeah. for the 1930s. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm kidding, Eleanor. Well, welcome to Drinking Bros. What was it about Jared that made you swipe right? Um. Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah. Black Rifle yeah. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we just got back from a flight from Texas. That's uh, right. I mean, I got, I got, I think I got in like an hour before you, and then Evan just landed, and mm -hmm. yeah. So we're back was, in the city. You guys were in I Austin, right? To, I didn't know we what to do. We were myself. in Austin. Yeah. yeah. Austin, uh, and then just outside of San Antonio. Shit. What's, uh, did you guys pick out a spot, a hot spot in Austin? We're browsing. Yeah, we're browsing. We're browsing. You're What's window a big shopping. State? Yeah, it's we're like state. kind of on like you porn right now, and I'm just kind of like browsing the categories. And there's yeah. a couple that I really like, but we don't want to yeah. mention quite yet. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Big fan. Yeah. Of, we're big fan of Austin. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We don't do anything. We, we, yeah. we looked at property. Uh, I drove around, drove around for like a lot. Like just looking at looking land in, lots. Uh, like, like, oh, did you guys have a good time? Man. You know, you, I saw you some were land. blowing away like rare African animals, and now you're like, that was it was a normal was day. One night, <laughs> mm -hmm. I luckily have an amazing friend. Cheers to John and Pam. They, Cheers uh, to John and Pam. They got to go out there. My wife got to shoot an auric. Which is you got uh, to see his house, awesome. which is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, he's a pretty incredible guy, man. isn't he? Like uh, John and Pam are are, are pretty amazing people. I you just gotta say, did you stay out there? No, I just nope. went down for the day. Yeah, yeah. And Kate got dude, it was fun like, though. We see the whole. We got down no, there. Kate didn't go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. but Nara, Nara was down there, yeah. and Nara had a blast. But like, yeah. Evan shows up. We're just kind of bullshitting and everything. And then uh, I was looked at John. I was like. Hey, you got any clay pigeons? He's like, hey, oh, man, I got all the clay pigeons. And then we went out there and shot shotguns with Dakota Meyer. If yeah. you don't know Dakota, read a oh, fucking book. Man. He's an awesome dude. I'm jealous. He'll be on, uh, he'll be on our business podcast, That's right. Launch yeah. Code, during SHOT Show. Yep. Yeah. We had, a, we had a fucking great time, man. It was like, a good time. That's fucking yeah, awesome. This dude is always fun to hang out with. Who, he Dakota? Really yeah. yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a, a fucking blast, dude. He's, he's funny. A, he's a good old boy, man. He's like nonstop laughter. I love him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we went my out daughter, in uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina, we all went out together, yeah. and that guy was fucking hilarious, dude. He ordered three large pizzas at the end of the night for himself after we left the bars. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Right. As I mean, a Medal of Honor recipient, you go above and beyond everybody else, yeah. even with your pizza eating. You, know? you really do, but the, the woman behind the counter was like, dude, what the fuck? Is that guy really going to eat all these? And I was like, I wouldn't put it past him, would you? Um, you never know. You never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome yeah. to New Year's Eve drinking bros, kids. We got a new theme at the top. As you'll notice, Black Rifle Coffee is our chief sponsor for all of 2018. Um, uh, we're, we're now brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. That's just like I always said, chief. Chief. I, I do too. I mean, oh it, yeah, there uh, it was. You got it. You, yeah. you have to with that. Chief, Evan. I got you, it. You got Trust it. Me, I got it. Yeah. Boom. I got it. Nailed bad, it. Chief. I got, got it, Chief. Oh. Hey, boss, you want to talk about it? I got oh, it. God. <laughs> got it. That's chief, so boss, creepy. I feel, so I creepy. feel like I snuck it in there. I feel really you proud did. of myself for that one. <laughs> chief sponsor. Chief sponsor. And since they're our chief sponsor, they are up first this year. Uh, Evan Hafer wants to tell us about Black Rifle Coffee. 
Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and kick this off with just telling everybody we did fulfill the ten thousand pounds of coffee yes. shipped overseas. Oh, to I've been getting service thank members. yous yeah. constantly. Yeah. Uh, Every day I get another Instagram message or snap, mainly the, the Snapchat. Photos, so yeah. I get, and it sucks because it's, it's hard to save. You can't save Snapchats and shit like that. But right. every day, it's somebody deployed Snapchatting. We just got this box in. This just showed up on our table. Fuck this yeah. was my Christmas present. Yada yada yada. Like. But we get snaps of about 50 of our products a day. Pretty fucking awesome. It's cool. I love that. The Snapchat's fucking great. I, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm sure Man, you are, Jared. As, as a bunch of guys that have spent several of our holiday seasons overseas, we know exactly what it's like to, uh, to be deployed during that time a year. And it's just nice to know that people are thinking about you. So that's all we want to do is just kick out a little coffee, send out a little love to the dudes that are deployed, fighting the good fight. So uh, thank you, everybody, for helping us make it happen because uh, without you guys making purchases, we wouldn't have been able to make that happen. So, And then this year, uh, we will be moving to Texas, which is a, it's a big deal for the company. So uh, stand, by, stand by for some pretty amazing shit, like roasted, Texas, roasted in Texas, uh, Texas and veteran owned. We're opening up some uh, corporate and franchise stores over the next year. And not only that, but we're going to fucking open up a range. Yes. The Black no Rifle. No way, range. really? The Black Shit. Rifle facility is going to be the Black Rifle bees Ranch. Yes, sir. Right? Woo. Yes, sir. Heard that so, fucking awesome, ears, Richard dude. Ryan says. So you'll have an opportunity this year. Uh, when we kick this thing off, we are going to kick it off with the biggest fucking shit show party i think <laughs> fucking austin has ever yes, seen we're gonna go ever. down and kick that fucking hipster town oh dude we're gonna square flip it in their tucked back we should call it death penis. to hipsters well, no, it's called an in, it's called an inverted dick yeah we're gonna kick them in their inverted <laughs> dick we're we're gonna try to we're gonna try to make texas uh or, or austin bring Texan back austin. again uh, yeah bring that's what austin. we're gonna try to do so we should start a shirt that's just uh bring austin back yeah that's all we're doing that's all we're doing so uh, you know, I can't thank everybody enough for what they've done with us for the last year. Uh, yeah. And then this year, it's going to be all about you, man. Drinking bros down in Texas. You spoke <clears throat> loud and clear. Not only that, you spoke loud and clear that you wanted us uh, Austin, San Antonio area. So that was the other reason that we moved was drinking bros. And were that's like, what I did. I didn't it, really realize go. how quick that drive is from San Antonio to Austin, Dude. especially if we're going to separate the distance pretty much. Like <clears throat> that's you're, you're looking at an hour ish. Yeah. To come and hang out at the BRCC headquarters, it's going to be a phenomenal fucking time. It is going to be a fucking great year. Man, I, I'm excited. Austin is one of my favorite cities in the world, and uh, I, I'm, I'm amped that I will not have to go back to Salt Lake City ever again. We're talking live shows. We are talking live events and shooting events. Jesus, this is going to be a fucking sick year i can't awesome. wait it, can't it is gonna wait. be awesome and evan somebody somebody had mentioned uh, wait, you, uh possibly a live show at mgm for shot show is that true uh i did we pin down a venue yet i don't know i believe it is gonna be mgm like, okay it, it's 94 percent right now uh our guys flew out there friday nice they did the walkthrough there was a couple uh movement issues that they wanted to have fixed they're gonna get they're gonna get that uh uh, taken care of hopefully by Tuesday we'll hear about that and then we'll lock it in and we'll post the poster and you guys will know where it's going to be. Either way, Boom. if you're going to be in Vegas in that shot, we are 100% doing a live show and yep. then details to follow. Uh, and the second we get it locked down and the venue locked down, we'll obviously make that um, out there for everybody else. Awesome. All your favorites are going to be there. Yeah, yeah. because uh, the live show is actually going to include Bert. Oh, oh really? cool. shit, yeah. Bert Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be uh, he texted us today. He's us like, four, uh, you know, Ross, Matt, Evan, and me, and then Bert. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. great. We're going to fuck Bert and up. Eleanor's going to be there, too. Is Eleanor? Is she, she going to be there? Well, yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. Look at that. Is Eleanor? she going to be there? That's the question. Is, is this real? Is this a real thing you're doing? Well, I, we, I kind of want it to happen because she is not a toilet sandwich. No. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna, I'll say wow, that. that's a big. Thank you. That's yeah. a bold statement. And I'm not just saying that because you're here, because that'd be really That is mean, a bold statement, man. She's nice. Coming, she's coming for you. She seems yeah. giving, so uh, don't fuck it up, Jared. Yeah. I mean, you will, but. Yeah, yeah. you will. It's, it's Jared. Will. Inevitably. So, but, yeah. Inevitably. I'm you sorry. Can, you can still it's hang right. out with us if, if After that happens. After he fucks it up? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. She's really awesome. hard to piss off. <laughs> really hard. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see, Jerry. Crazy, uh, crazy hot scale might and, be fucked up there. Dude. Uh, and and she plays like Evan games with people, and that's super funny. Yeah. You know, uh, she, she told uh, she told somebody that we were just brother and sister, and I didn't know that. 
And then they kept looking at us real weird. He's like making out. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's one of my favorite games to play. Oh, it's my sister. And you kiss him on the lips. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, Wait, what's going on? Kevin. Yeah. Mom and dad are out of town. I'm just going to have some fun. Fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we, went to yeah tar- we went to Target, bought a huge box of condoms and told the cashier that. Yeah. Oh. Our parents were hoping for a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Preparing for the weather That's all we're yeah, doing That's it That's it, it is. You, know? you never know You that never is. know when a hurricane's gonna hit Salt Lake Yeah, <laughs> it, it could be any, any second It could be any second uh, Matt We've got another new sponsor For the first quarter of Drinking Bros uh, It is Sig Sour why don't, you, why don't you tell us about it please um, I don't even Who is that? Yeah <laughs> I'm totally kidding Oh man I didn't know they came on That's right Sig uh, I mean if you don't know who Sig is Jeez man that's their, their MPX, which is their 9 mil um, rifle, is one of my favorite things of all time. We used it in our yeah. Christmas Steel video. That's right. They're nice enough to square us away with some stuff. So, yeah. Um, God, what, do they have a promo code they're giving no. out No. Here's the beauty what? of them. They said, oh. we're, we, don't, we're, we're, we don't do promo codes because we're fucking SIG. So, we don't need that bullshit. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I will say, and I can't really, like, <clears throat> I can't give too much information on it, but Coming up at SHOT Show, they have a, a massive announcement about something they're coming out with, which is, I got a little pre-look, and it is phenomenal. It's, yeah. it's competing with one of my favorite firearms of all time, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this they thing They have a the black market. powder rifle It is. Out. It's a Gatling black powder <laughs> rifle. <laughs> it, it takes it's nine muzzle, hours to reload. It's a muzzle-loading <laughs> minigun. They're bringing uh, back Civil, Civil War bayonets. Um, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you, no, they squared us away, man. If you check out any of their new co- their guns, like they have the Rattler, which is their, it's a divot in uh, 300 blackout. It's it's a shorty. It's tiny. That thing hides. It's smaller almost than a pistol. It's not. It's beautiful. But it's amazing. It'll knock your socks off with the overpressure, but it's a phenomenal gun. Socks their are Their MPXs, their MCXs, all of those guns. I, I have a fun time shooting with the range. I, I probably... 30% of my whole entire arsenal right now is SIG. So cheers to them for sponsoring the show. That's fucking awesome. Heck That's yes. awesome. Yeah. They, yes. Also, uh, they also sponsor our good friend Kyle Lamb. So uh, <laughs> cheers to them, man. If you don't they know are... Kyle Lamb, fuck you because he's amazing, <laughs> he's dude. He's a fucking amazing, dude. He's so funny. That that New Year's or what Christmas? We got all, we all got a Christmas text from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With just like a badass image. Of a a dude, dude in a beard and a Santa hat. <laughs> he's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> he's fucking cool. Was Hell yeah. Was there any strike force in his drink? Because they're up next. Strikeforceenergy.com. Oh, uh, oh, Ross, you know what I saw on Drinking Bros today? Strike Force sponsored somebody's wedding. Oh, yes. really? Yep. Yeah. That, yeah. that actually gave me a really good idea. Like, what if you started branding weddings? Well, he, hey, this the, is he, the, the, the preacher gets up. Them, this them. this, uh, this wedding Kelly, is brought to you by up, Black Rival Coffee. coffee. <laughs> Wait, wait G- G- who G- has a 57 percent chance of divorcing husband in the next 10 years because that's the national average of divorce rates <laughs> kelly <laughs> kelly now you guys, you guys laugh but like uh there we've had three emails to the show asking for evan to marry marry three different couples and have black rifle sponsor the wedding and they were going to pay for God, coffee i think that's a future i think that's a future thing to me i'll do that like i, I think that's a future in marketing where you're Branding weddings, like <laughs> I want you, you, you put a requirement, two, two dudes. You, like, you, you put a requirement. It's two hundred plus guests, though. Like, and then yeah. we will we will title title sponsor a wedding. We'll we'll play music and uh, and and then you know it has to be brought to you by. We I mean, should all <laughs> but fuck the bride. No, 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 no. Stop playing that song. <laughs> that would be a wedding to remember. Oh, oh my god. god. Could you would. imagine? We should do one. We should do one we this should, year. Do we, yeah. we should do we one. We should do one. One they this had, year. They, talks about it. They yeah. all had three uh the same request for, for, for you, Evan. They wanted you to write the vows. They just wanted you to go off for like <laughs> ten minutes. I'm dead serious. No, no lie. This is totally real. <laughs> I uh I put my name in the hat yesterday on Drink It Bros that I wanted to be someone's date to their high school reunion, and I'm just going to lie my ass off the whole time. That's fun. I think it would be hilarious. Uh, why, why not? You, wait, Jared, you brought up something about Christmas that I want to talk about here real quick. Let's just finish up the sponsors. Strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code <laughs> Drinking Bros for 20% off four original flavors. Uh, the grape. I had the grape all goddamn day today to, to get ready for shit. Go to Strikeforceenergy.com and they will be at SHOT Show as well. Uh, use the promo code Drinking Bros. Last but not least, Ghostbed.com. Uh, ghostbed.com is, uh, well, it's a bed you can fuck on. J- Jared, are you, are you having sex with this woman who's on the show? 
Oh, they fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Again, completely out of his league. But somehow his dick is going inside of her. Wow. Well, have you? Can, uh, can do you sh- want to give him a hand job on the show? Sure. <laughs> I, I don't. I actually don't want to see that. Wait, I, 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 I'd like to see an HJ go down on the show live on I, air. I like, like to digest. Does. I like to digest my food, not throw it up. So. Bring in a ghost bed, throw it on the fucking podcast floor, and then give him give him an HJ. Um, nice. Segue. That's that's episode three hundred. They have to watch me fuck. Oh, oh <laughs> boy, I would wa- rather watch two dudes fuck than you fuck. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to watch. Well, two they're dudes hot fuck. dudes. <laughs> yeah, like if they're firefighters or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? You're so gay, dude. I am not. I like how many hot fire I'm just, fighters. Listen, pops in your you just head. put you put something on the table, and then I just told you what I'm willing to watch if I have to. Like if it's like if you have to, <laughs> but it's very oh, genre specific. Yeah, but you're like, like uh, you know, if you had to watch two guys fuck, it's like yeah, I want to see firefighters. <laughs> Why did you do that with your arm, man? Just some bunker gear <laughs> pulled halfway <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> are, know, they, are they sweaty they, or are they getting ready to go down the pole like what's oh the, dude what's the no climate? they're buttered the up climate. they're buttered up like they just got done tanning buttered <laughs> yeah up. oh they're, god there's no calls that day they were just working out and tanning oh yeah. like a nice a nice like 10k <laughs> and then a tan <laughs> So that oh. sweats there. No shower. And, and tan. No shower either. This summer on just, Firefighters Fuck. And Kenny in a tan. Just holding on to an engine company, you know, uh. just, just getting blasted out. Hey, Billy, oh. want to open the faucet? No. Oh. Come on. Hey, I need you to hold my hose. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, if you if you did that, if you you could do that movie like Brokeback Mountain, try to make it really yeah, romantic, and just to troll firefighters to piss them off. Listen, like, holy she, fuck! No, this isn't the way firefighting they, no, is. Yeah. Just, they, they <laughs> already hurt fifteen. Black <laughs> Rifle Cop yeah, and Ross stop, Patterson stop. made that movie to fucking troll firefighters, man. <laughs> they already hate backdrafts, so you just make a really we gay would, backdraft. We would have yeah. that. We would have it's every called, cop in the United States it, just it, celebrate yeah. us because we keep making gay firefighter what movies. If you have one scene in there where it's just like, what if I told you you don't have to be unconscious to do CPR? Yeah. <gasps> it's like that cheesy fucking televensia Yeah, they're in the back of an ambulance just freaking going at it like dude missionary. No, no dude missionary. Well, I did send you a video because she did allow me to finally... Like do something that I've always wanted to do and mix skit comedy with pornography. Anal? Oh, were you actually having sex? Oh yeah, uh, it looked like it. It was happening. <laughs> yeah, was yeah. Did, did, well, I, I didn't bu- tell her what we were doing until after. I had no idea what was going oh, on. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. You. I just said, hey, I just need you to say this real quick. You're, and, I get. So, are your morals like Friday casual? Very casual. <laughs> okay. Just, just, just <laughs> what few morals I have? Yeah. That's good. That's wow. Good. Wow. Hey, but by the way, Jared, I got a name for that movie. It's uh, Backdraft at the Back Door. That way, you uh, can really backdraft. I back. think it's Backblast. Yeah. When back the blast. when the, thid, when the yeah. thin red line turns into the rope line. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> See, right? Evan knocks it out of the park. <laughs> back the thin blast. rope line. Is what, that what you want to go with? The yeah. Drama line? yeah, the thin rope lines. The is thin it like rope the dramas line. where like AIDS is spreading through the firehouses and like all the gay firefighters have to fucking <laughs> get the cure? Oh, oh my Jesus. god! Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Oh god! Um, if ghostbed.com where gay firefighters come to fuck. Yeah, we just lost. The, you can sick. unleash it's your hose all over yeah. a ghost no. bed. Sick. Dude, uh, we seriously gotta we gotta start those websites like gayfirefightersonly.com. dot <laughs> com. <laughs> like farmers only. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like uh, actually, you, uniform it's, humor. It's, the Instagram uniform humor recently put up like, are you an Air Force dude looking for another Air Force dude? Airforceonly.com. No, I just got a great idea. We don't say it's Black Rifle, but we get to be known for fucking fake commercials that we run on local TV stations. Listen, we so super 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 niche though. It's like, are you a firefighter that's homosexual between the ages of 32 and 33 then come to firefuck.com <laughs> it's a 30 minute commercial we have to pay 10 grand for but fuck it yeah. come to fire be- fireblast.com fireblast. yeah. fireblast.com we should start that yeah that should be right. a fucking app where the only fire is your love the only <laughs> the shit. only fire is your passion shoots and ladders <laughs> shoots and ladders ladders, ladders. shoots Ladders. Desire. Hey, hey, Hard hats, butt fucking. <laughs> Jared, will you, tell, you could... will you tell Matt and Evan what you wanted to do to them for Christmas next year? 
Oh God! It's the was, greatest idea of all time. I, I really was hoping I would do. I, they could listen to that, and I didn't have to do it in front of them. Why? Now uh, you do because I, I decided <laughs> your guys' Christmas presents next year. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, I'm going to hire. I'm going to cast uh, adult actresses that look like your wives, and then make you a DVD of me playing you. That's a pornography of me having sex. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That'd be, that'd be yeah, funny as hell. Well. Like my actual wife. That's awesome. And, and they just mail you the DVD with a Christmas card that said, "Didn't know what to get you, so I got you this." <laughs> Too bad there isn't. A but that DVD works out perfect for mine because you'd be like, "What'd you get me for Christmas?" No, well. Uh, <laughs> nailed it. Nailed and it. And then I hit the TV. You know? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's fine. I was a big fan yeah, of that. Eleanor and I are just gonna make a real porn. <laughs> <laughs> I told Jesse that. She was like, dude, just get Christina Applegate. Like, it's close enough. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all right, all right. But then the one friend, so I said I would do it to five of my friends, but then the one friend that you really kind of want to annoy and get under his skin. Richard. It's not. Oh, sorry. You're not, you're not <laughs> playing him in the film. You actually cast him, uh, like cast an actor to be him in the movie, and the whole situation is me visiting and then he leaves to go get us liquor and then i bang his wife in the kitchen Jesus. what i yeah. i would prefer yeah. to see is if you hired a, a, a almost a, a spitting image of richard but then you have sex with that guy yeah and it's like it's like super hey, violent and demeaning like eat out of that dog bowl richard yeah. <laughs> pushing your high heel into his yeah. back Oh, like, this is what happens when you don't I'm, give me the PNL report in, on time. I'm dressed in full food. drag. I'm dressed in full drag. Like <laughs> I'm just healing him in the back of the neck. Richard just like, oh my god, oh, god. Am I allowed to do all this next Christmas? Yeah, if why I not? Be part of it. Yeah. Okay, then I'm good. There you go. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So, yeah. what, what have you and Eleanor done that's been sexually exciting lately? Because she's on the show for a reason. No, she was just sitting there. We said to come. Yeah, come on that the show. was it. Yeah, she was just sitting on the couch, and then Matt put her on the show. So. I didn't put her on. I'm you not could sit, wear headphones. If I you am sit in the couch. Yeah, with the dogs. I wasn't prepared for this. So El- Eleanor is Jared a straight Mish guy? What's his What's his whole sitch? You guys gone reverse cowgirl or not? Oh, we've done all of it. Oh. 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 <laughs> yes, we <laughs> fucking paid you to say. <laughs> God. <laughs> he said sex, not fast food restaurants. <laughs> I've never that taken also. her through a drive through. Yeah, You're kidding for you. I haven't. We haven't eaten any fast food. No. Wow. What, what have you That's guys been eating? You cook. She cooks. Filet, chicken breast. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, she cooks. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah. We stocked the whole house up the first day. We're she happy. Was there. We don't want them to mess this one up. No. Wow. Don't, this don't is, do it, buddy. It, it, are you at Benny's? Are you still living with Benny? Party Ben? Yeah, but he's been gone since uh, he was out of town. Where is he at? Uh, Washington. Have you flown Jared's family. flight simulator? Oh uh, yeah. First night I did that. Nice. Yep. Did, you, the- did you crash? No. no. Okay. You did well. I did the robot. Okay. That was yeah. a lot of fun. He's pretty good at that, too. I don't know what the robot one is. The like killing robots. Robot, Shoot robot. robot recall. I, uh, I've never. No, yeah, I don't know. I'm, Evan's really good at it. I, I where, where, where are you from, Eleanor? Denver. Oh, all right. City of Angels. Um, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. I, I think that. that's Los yep. Angeles. But, eh, close she's enough. actually always in Boulder, too. Like, so. oh, that's yuppie. It's like, do you know Not where, by choice. Do you know where Golden, Colorado is? Nice. That's, you work there? Work in Gold. Where do you work? I work at Twin Peaks. In, oh, there's a Twin Peaks shit. in Golden? There is. Where now? I, I lived in Golden for two and a half years. Um, it's, it's like right by the mall. There's Between, a mall? What is Twin Peaks? Golden. Okay. It's Which, like a classy Hooters. Oh, it is. Twin Peaks is actually, yeah. Well, yeah, within reason. The one in El Paso is creepy because there were like 18 year olds. There are two at El Paso. But the food is actually delicious. It's yeah, the classic Twin good. Peaks. The and owner the of Twi- the owner of Hooters, beer. the guy that previously owned Hooters, started Twin. Yeah. Oh, really? Twin Peaks. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh, all right. Look at that. Well, how Hooters, did How did you yeah. meet her in Denver? Then is what I, I'm trying to figure out. You just change your you know location. She slid yeah. into his DMs. I did. Yeah. You change it on a on Grinder. Yeah. His yeah. profile picture was the same. <laughs> I started talking to him. <laughs> wow. Nice. No, she did message me. She did message me. How many, wow. how many days yeah. have you guys been together now at this point? Uh, She's been here since the 25th. Since five? Oh, shit. Six That's days. Six. Nice. Six days. Six yeah. days. Yeah. How long are you staying for? Uh, until after the new year. Did you just like get a lot of time off? Like, did you ask your boss at Twin Peaks? I mean, do you have like paid time off? Or? No. No. It's... No, we had this plan. Yeah, I planned it. Planned uh, it out. How, how long? A month ago. 
Yeah. Nice. Wow. God. Well, this I am is, super it, impressed. Yeah, this is this <laughs> is real now. So and coordinated. Yeah. Love it. That's yeah, good. he's growing up in front of oh, us. Open man. the door. Yeah. Open the door. Big really big proud of you. Is she coming to Shot Show? Are you coming to Shot Show, Eleanor? Yeah, I'll be there. Really? Oh, sure. why? Why not? Oh, to hang out with Jared. Oh, I, I mean, if he's there too. Why, <laughs> why would you go to Why would you go to Shot Show just in general? Okay, okay. it's fun. Okay. It is a good time. I, yeah. Not really. Shot Show is actually kind of a shit show. Yeah. Well, if I liked it before. Uh, I guess before you're part of the industry, like I really did like to cruise through there Agreed. and check stuff out. Fucking really did. Like it was, it was awesome. This is but my 10th. Now one. it's not, it's, it's not fun for us. So, so this is my, this is my dime. This is my 10th one. Oh yeah. Nice. Shot show. Yeah. Man, this is your fight song. Take back your life song. Yeah. Life yeah. Song. It but, really is. But I, I honestly but don't I really, think I will. I really love that. Song. I don't think I will enter the floor this time. I think I'll stay. Nah. I'll stay at our podcast set and I'll, I'll just hang out. And if people want to see, uh, us or me or whatever, you know, I'll meet him somewhere. I just don't want to. Yeah. I don't need to walk that thing. I've, see, I've seen it ten, ten fucking years. Like, <laughs> I, I want to throw over. up. I've gotten so many. Like, and I, I, I mean, I, I love my buddies, man. They're awesome. But every fucking one of them. Hey, bro, let's meet up at Circle Bar. I want to fucking. Oh, you don't want to go to Circle Bar? Fucking Circle Bar. God. God. Where, where, where is that? Like, I've, I've it's the it's most in horrendous... the center of the hotel, and you can see it from like 100 meters of all sides. It's a Circle Listen, Bar. It, I, it literally, like, that worst. is like... What hotel I, is that I, in? I, I, can, I can tell you a decade worth of memories that have happened there that were weird or awkward or Super fights weird. or yeah. fucking arguments or... It's just dumb. What, what yeah, hotel is that in? Uh, the Venetian. The Venetian? the Venetian. No shit. So Hello, pe- Trans Frank. It's time yeah. to go to the Venetian. Oh, it's time to go to the imagine? Venetian. It could be funded by Shot Show. You did never you, know. Did you see the uh, Trans Frank poster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you like that one? I, I'm just trying to dis- disassociate myself from the entire thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. like, Probably a good idea. You know, when, definitely you know, think yeah, the, that the, one. Uh, yeah. That one might fuck us up. Yeah, just, just kind of <laughs> just trying to stand back and watch that one from the sidelines a little bit. You know, like just until uh, until, until you feel the bit, water begin. until the until the water yeah, it's is like, like building the nuclear yeah. bomb. You don't yeah. want to be sitting next to it, but you kind of want to see what it does. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Yeah. I. Like, I legitimately <laughs> wanted. To, I wanted I don't know to what it's see like Waterworld. Split an atom, yeah. good, you know. Yeah, well, at least at least you're not on the poster. At least did you just like died. Waterworld? I loved Waterworld. I did. I thought, I thought it was Waterworld. Good. Was a big fan. You could drink your own piss. That's All great. All yeah. the steel yeah. in Hawaii yeah. was used. I mean, I, I had know. girls like squirt on me. That's essentially pee. <laughs> so it's what? what? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Are you a squirter, Joanne? <laughs> she is. That's great. Eleanor. Yeah, either one. Yeah, yeah, either one. That's fine. He's called me a different couple. Yeah. Well, look, she lets me though. If we're going, are you, are if you? we're going names yeah. from the 1930s, it's going to be Bertha next. So, uh, you are a squirter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like she, she said, she, we we have to wash the goddamn bed. Oh god, that's the worst. Like <laughs> you're you're going to be doing laundry every fucking day. <laughs> so Sig Sour. Or- <laughs> 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 So uh, Ghost Sour sponsored the show for one show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they won't be on the next one. They, they definitely they love firearms and squirting. Yeah. No, no, Not, they don't. The I'm two sorry. things go hand in hand. I really want a good standing with them because I love their products. So yeah. Man, they're the, I did I did meet their CEO. Uh, I don't want to like name drop. I met him in Germany, and that dude is one cool motherfucker, and he does not give a shit. He is just like Push the limit, man. Is he Push German? Good guns. No, he's actually Israeli, but he turned the company completely around. It was like losing money at a, at a massive rate. He turned around and was just like, you know what? Fuck this. We do what we want. And that's what came out with like the arm brace, and he revolutionized a bunch of really cool shit. But his whole thing is, you know, fuck it. We're the best guns on the market. Let's do. We do what like we want. This. Fuck it. We We're do the what best we want. Coffee in the market. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. S my D. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of respect I- for that guy. A lot of respect for that guy. That's that's fucking rad, uh, Jared. Also, I want to talk about the Brosman of the Year. It is it is, it is that time. This is yes. the last oh, day shit. of uh, of 2017. Who is the Brosman of the Year? The Brosman of the Year was Cam Elliott. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. Cam. Yeah. Cam. Yeah. Cam we all know Cam. This was uh, you know it was decided based on like the full character profile. You know the the whole person picture. Like who? Yes, there was. 
a lot of people that we were throwing into the hat. Uh, the guy in the UK that stopped that terrorist attack with the knife, or the guy that was like slashing people and stuff like that. Or, you guys know what we're talking? I'm talking. Yeah. About. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He he was one. Couldn't get a hold of him. Um, well, but, I, I, know, I will say runner, this: runner there was up. a bunch. There was two submissions that were were super popular. The guy who drew the dick in the sky. That's epic. Yeah, that's epic. Epic. Um, uh, the guy who jumped the counter at Waffle House and made his own meal. That one, I'm, I, I that, that, that doesn't even warrant like a honorable mention. Like, well, I think too, like <laughs> the cool thing about Cam is like he yeah, is like, and has been Cam a drinking bro. Has like, been a drinking bro. I don't since want like July the bros of man, 2015. Exactly. It needs he to be in the community. Countless people inside Vigilant Guard. He's helped countless people inside Maine. He has put together Drinking Bros Down Under. Like. He, he's the pinnacle of Drinking of drink Bros Australia. So it's like, this guy has led the way. So there's no reason for us to be given this award out to somebody that just did some fucking Rando. weird yeah, no. thing. It's which, a, which we did, uh, you guys weren't here, we, we've come up with a new award, um, another yearly award for Drinking Bros that's called the... Uh, the Bronalisa. The Bronalisa, which is an art award. So okay. oh, best artist of the year. Yeah. We're giving that to those pilots that drew the tickets. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we are, we are going to have the same people you contracted to paint him and I in that shitty fucking awful painting, which I don't even it's know amazing. where it is at this point. I think Evan burned it. I, I didn't. Sure it threw it away. I didn't. I uh, thought it was funny. So we want to have those pilots painted that. We will mail it to the squadron and say that they are the Brona Lisa award winners of 2017. I like that. All right. Uh, I like that too. So, so Brona Lisa will go to art, like, uh, and art encompasses music, right? Whatever. Somebody that did something amazing that year, cool. In the in kind of the creative space, uh, and the Brosman goes to the person that really had an impact to the whole community, and that is Cam. One hundred percent, awesome yes. man, fantastic. Cam, Cam, fantastic. Cam has raised tens of thousands of dollars for for the foundation that is doing research for the disease that his daughter has. You know, he's done, I think, four to five fundraisers in the last year that he's all always met his goal. And he, he rucked like 30 miles, like based on what people had donated uh, for his daughter. And That's then awesome. he came out here and he brought. Yeah, he was 20, in Salt Lake City. He was in the 25, movie. 25, 30 drinking bros. bros flew in to Salt Lake. Like, yeah, that was fucking rad. That's power. <laughs> yeah. You're coming to visit and 30 people all fly into the same city. Super phenomenal. <laughs> Fucking yep. A, Cam. Fucking well, A, Cam. Cam Elliott. You that, was the, a, that was a fun time, and he was great on the show. So cheers. Cheers, Cam. We appreciate it. Cheers. Of the Brosman cheers award. to the, the 2017 Brosman winner of so, the year. Sometime in February, we'll do the Drinking Bro Admin Retreat here, hopefully. Um, we'll get Cam out here. We'll get Jimmy Long out here, and we'll do the actual ceremony where Jimmy Long passes the trophy to Cam, and uh, we'll film the whole thing. That'd be fucking awesome. Is that going to be in Utah or Texas? It'll be in Utah. Okay. Uh, looking forward to that. Let, hey, let's let's roundtable it here. This has been a fucking crazy year. Um, what were the highlights of 2017? We'll start with with you, Matt. Shit, man. I don't even know. This has been more fast paced than a fucking gay porn movie. I don't even know. Yeah, it's weird, right? Are like, gay porn fast paced? This year has flown nowadays. by. Yeah, I don't know. It is, man. I don't know. Like, uh, it's it's been a crazy year. You know, just I think just w the growth of the company and then spending it all with you guys has been the most. The coolest thing for me because you know it's not every day you get to go to work with your best friends and laugh and and create and see people's lives change for the better and then really honestly bring bring the culture and community that i we've all wanted to bring to the table and see it kind of succeed and ha actually have a shot at changing america a little bit like i know that's a bold statement but it's the truth so I, i've just been really fortunate to be surrounded by all these fucking hard-working business partners of mine and um, I'm, I'm super thankful for it, man. It's, it's great. Like the hard work is fun to me because yeah, I get to share it with the people that I enjoy and that I know that are good hearted and they have uh, the right outlook on life. So I'm just, I'm just super thankful for all that. You know, what was the, what was your coolest moment you think this year? I mean, I did get married this year, so that was kind of a fun. Hey, big that yeah. was fun. Look at yeah. that. that was so fun. It was. Jared was there. The Kuntzes. Um, it, was a, it was a grand old time. Uh, that's fucking awesome. What about you, Evan? Uh, my daughter was born, actually, my second daughter. So uh, Rowan was born on June 14th. So that was a that was a high point. Uh, I think the second high point is we snuck in a a, uh, a new business partner at the end of the year, uh, which 
they came with a, they come with a really substantial uh, background in um, corporate retail. Uh, they're a big partner, you know, they're, they're a big partner. They own like Kaplan universities and a bunch of other things. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm super stoked cause these guys are fantastic guys. They've got their hearts in the right place. Uh, it's all about, you know, trying to push back into the community, create an amazing product, create opportunity for veterans. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, it, it's just exciting, man, to think about 18, uh, cause 17 will be the springboard i think for probably the most epic year this company will ever have we've we've been like in such a fucking massive grind for so many years uh 18 i think we will start to reap the uh fruition of that and not us personally the community will really start to start to see some fucking incredibly epic shit come out of this company next year and uh you know 17 will be all of our hard work basically kind of buttoning it up at the end of the year and then launching a bunch of really fucking cool shit next year. I mean, yeah. we, we did so much, we did so much this year, like in 17 that we should be proud of. You know, I think one of the things that I'm really proud of is one, I still really like these guys and, and every day I, I actually learn to like them more. Um, and try to figure out ways that, you know, we can just do more than be business partners. It's weird, you know, when you're thinking about buying property, you're like, well, I want Matt's house, Matt's house over here. And, you know, JT can have that shed. And like, <laughs> hey, Richard, you another know. state. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's... It, it, I just think if you're listening, Richard. Uh, Richard, you can live with me in you. the shed. It, I'll live with you in the shed. It just kind I of... I uh, my Bitcoin. It just kind of... It, it's, it's, I think, 17 it really started to come together for us in 18. I think it's, it's geez, fuck man. We, we, it was like all 17. We just chopped a bunch of fucking wood. And now 18, we're going to finally sell the wood. Well, in 18, (laughs) man, like, like, you know, this, this year, I I will say this, like we've been so reserved, just building the infrastructure for, (laughs) so we can actually do epic shit. Right. And 18 is going to be the year of epic shit. So, uh, Epic fucking shit a and cheers opportunity. cheers to you motherfuckers because yeah. you put in a lot of hard work um you know excluding richard of course but um, <laughs> <We're so> <laughs> <laughs> i like you richard I didn't say it. I'm cheers you. cheers, cheers. To you motherfuckers and uh i can't wait for 18 hopefully my heart doesn't fucking blow up tonight so you know hopefully it's got, yeah got, got my court got my cortisol levels you know got got those gotta watch those this you know year. what's also grown a lot in 2017 which is pretty awesome is ross's ego it, oh that yeah thing keeps growing it's huge it's, it's a, huge we've we've That's seen funny. him like put on pants and yep. then now he's got like suspenders and weight and weight <laughs> yeah he's like yeah he's like he's like a fat italian mobster <laughs> <He's> <laughs> fucking, i know kicking little I kicking just, little girls at the schoolyard oh, keep just getting fatter people up. <laughs> I just keep I mean, getting fatter. And Jer- Jared's New Year's resolution was to bring like a, a, a sane female to the company, you know, Snuck for that one in six days. Like, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Uh, yeah. Evan. Can I mean, I, Kelly Clarkson said it perfect. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Jared. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she really. I'm going to treasure perfect. the next two days, yeah. treasuring them. Evan, can I, I can I say what your what your coolest days. moment was? Uh. Yeah, go the, for when it. I saw that picture with with uh, Donald Trump Jr., I was like, "Holy fucking shit!" That was pretty crazy to me. Yeah, was, I'm gonna go ahead with his ch- the birth of his second child. Probably was a bigger moment. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, but, I, but that's that's yeah, that's always but, look a, a life like you know getting married and, and child. That's always gonna outweigh yeah. everything in life, pretty much. Right. Well, um, no, yeah. I, not to speak for Evan, but I will because I'm a dick and the ego. Um, but like, I think that part with having the kind of proof of concept of the first functioning black rifle coffee store and for people to actually see the retail shop and brick yeah. and mortar and serving coffee at an event that size at AccuSport was like that was a true special moment because people walked in That's and it wasn't like deal. oh fuck you guys are super legit and we're like yeah we're we're not fucking we're around, not fucking around. around. there's fucking zero around. fucking around you guys better be ready for this shit so yeah it, it, and it's funny because we set out you know several years ago it's like we would be the conservative coffee of america and and it's and when i say that it, it's you know we're we're ultra libertarian in the sense of like you know freedom reigns man you do you but we set out to meet that goal and i think we've actually met that goal at this point yeah. we could say that people identify with black rifle coffee as that uh 
you know, but we don't care. Come on, come all, man. Like it's it's about you do you, and it's about uh, freedom and fun because we're doing what we want to do. And mm-hmm. if people if people love that, and if they're into that, if they love fucking great coffee and and doing, what it's they, becoming what they a love. recognizable thing now. Like we were in Park City last night, four people came up to me, really, and recognizing what they like. Oh, oh, I love that. And then well, I mean, one dude was was straight up like. Oh, I know, I know who you are. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. <laughs> and they're all out of towners because right. everybody in Park City is yeah. a fucking tourist and winner. But it, it literally was is everybody wanted to either they wanted to know or they already knew, and right. it was it was really cool because we were both wearing sweats. Oh, nice, nice. So they, yeah, nice. and, and hey, I heard a rumor. Are you guys inside the the Vegas Golden Knights arena and for the NHL? Is that true? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, they serve, uh, I believe they serve Black Rifle Coffee they do. down there. They do? And, uh, uh, they fuck. also sell. That's sell crazy. You, you, if you go to one of their games, you'll yep. see with the power play and some other stuff. You'll see Black Rifle Coffee on that That's main right. screen. No fucking way. Which, yeah, the owner is actually a veteran. Yeah. Um, and so he was very uh, responsive and open to our you know, company's culture and values. And uh, that was an easy easy fit easy fit so they're, they're they've been really awesome to us and um can we get tickets and go to a game when we're when Absolutely. we're there I probably, yeah. i'll be yeah in, we have we have season tickets down there like, yeah yep. i think they're they playing the blackhawks in indiana box seats. um <laughs> and i gotta be out there so i'm probably gonna check that game out i nice. don't really know about hockey but i mean dude hockey's punch, fun they punch each other in the face i'm cool both my that. girls love hockey dude sh- yeah. sh- chicago blackhawk fans are i mean it's massive like that'll be a great time matt seriously i would i would no, definitely I know my wife's a huge one i'm like ew Oh, yeah, wow. I would definitely do it. What about you, Jared? Uh, 2017. What's, oh, uh, God. What? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I feel like you're everywhere. Well, like, I feel like with, you know, Travis Pastrana, you're always somewhere doing something yes, fucking crazy. I, you were in Costa Rica. I, back, I backflipped a motorcycle, which I never thought I'd do. I, I, I legitimately got to, I spent, you know, probably three weeks at Travis's house over that year. Um, there was a lot of really cool things that happened. The Costa Rica? Both, both, I mean, Costa Rica was fun because I saw the whole coffee operation, like yeah. from start to finish. Especially to see that the people that we we're dealing with are doing things the right way. That was a big deal. Like right. whereas to see the farms that we're working with in Costa Rica, they provide all their workers childcare and housing, and then they provide them four times minimum wage. Uh, in Costa Rica to work for them like it was like we're dealing with the right right people right um and and we were treated so nicely there too that that was really when I was down there I wish you guys would have been because it was it was time it was impressive like you know (laughs) you you're walking into this massive estate and they're treating you like you're a celebrity or somebody important (laughs) it's like oh this is kind of cool um but uh yeah, I had a I had a lot of big. I mean, Evan literally eighteen months ago whiteboarded the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, drawn on a chalkboard, and two weeks ago we did it. <laughs> That's <laughs> it still blows, and it was still blows me away. Actually. And it was paid for by other people, yet it still it still went down. Like, and it came from his brain, and that will be in the movie. The movie releases in July. It's action figures too. The new Nitro Circus movie, like Evan came up with the most ridiculous stunt ever. And when I pitched it to Travis and Nate Wessel, they both said we could do this, and I didn't believe them. I, no, like it had. This has gone, and and the iterations that this has gone because eighteen months ago is when he came up with it. Eight months ago, they said, "Okay, we think we got it lined up." It got canceled. Hey, we don't have. We don't have funding. We can't get insurance. Utah won't allow us to do this in the state. We have to find a new state. Then we got a new state that said that we could do it. And we got a date. It was like, no, we got to push. We don't got funding. We don't have this. And then it was like, all right, we got it. And I'm still flying there a few weeks ago. And it it still was like, is this really going to happen? The way that the way that he envisioned it. And it absolutely did. We can't talk about it yet but when the new action figures comes out you guys will see it oh. and you'll be like what the fuck and that was evan's brain on a chalkboard <laughs> <laughs> the, 
that said, what if we do this? <laughs> and Black Rifle Coffee's in the movie too, right? I remember seeing the logo. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, that's the whole thing. You know, uh, Travis and the Nitro Circus guys have been so great. They're so supportive of everything that we're doing because, you know, Travis comes from a background where his father and all his uncles were Marines, so he's a big military supporter. And when, when we had all connected, he was just like, I, we, let's just find ways to bleed this in. And, and they've exactly done that. And, you know, I've got the hood of Travis's NASCAR truck sitting in my office right now that, you know, made, made a debut in Vegas. And he took, I think, 17th in that, in that race. Uh, so uh, we've had a lot of big moments. I would say my two, my two most proudest moments, and I'll give Matt credit to a lot of this too, the first one is both my girls really love motocross and they, they both love riding the quad and then they both love riding on the dirt bike with me because we started the mini bike track up north with our guys at Whiskey Throttle. Um, that was really cool. Like, they love that. The show. fact that Charlotte lets me jump a dirt bike with her on it with me, that's funny. <laughs> She's in <laughs> safety gear. <guys>. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really cool. How old is and she? Then, she's what, three or four? She's four. Four. She's four. Yeah. So uh, that is awesome. Uh, the second one was getting invited to Danny Warsnop's house <laughs> and writing a song with him. That was an experience of a lifetime. Like, isn't that asking Matt, Ale- that's the, Yeah, it's Matt's favorite band, right? And you got to work. Yes. You got to- <laughs> uh, asking Alexandria. <laughs> Uh, they've been around f- for what ten plus years? Yeah, about ten. Yes, years. Oh, and great band, great music, and then like when we stumbled on it, it was all because Charlotte. Charlotte loves his music, so we had we had made this montage video where she was raging to asking Alexandria, and we had found out that they were coming to Utah in January, and just put that video up and like, hey, uh, can we? Can we get to the show? Can you meet Charlotte? And he was like, the first email he sends back is a picture of his closet. He has all of our products. It's like, wait, what? (laughs) Say what? Yeah, it was. And then, you know, he just, they just released a music video four days ago of the acoustic version of Into the Fire where he's wearing an Art 15 shirt through the whole music video. And it's just like, oh, we, I don't know how to, I just want to thank him. Like, (laughs) Jesus, that is really cool. Super cool. But getting to experience kind of writing a song with somebody at that level and seeing his process, because it opened my eyes like exactly how he does it from a technical aspect. Uh, that was very amazing. So those are my two moments. All right. Well, l- that'll lead to the next obvious question. After everybody watched Drinking Bros Live, the Shaved Eagle Tour movie, they want to see a Lincoln's Box Seats album. Is that something you guys would entertain in 2018? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do it. We're, we yes. got some cool music around. Matt, you know? Matt and I are going to hit music hard over the next three to, to, to six months. Well, the, the beauty of it is you get to perfect it, too, at the live shows in front of you know a shit ton of people. Because like, that, that was the yeah, first time you guys performed it, right? It's, it sounds douchey. It's easy kind of for us, and we just yeah. don't. It's so hard to like find the time to really get in the studio. But One we'll, thing we'll I'll it. tell you now, too, like I never believed in a voice coach ever. Until I started with Steve. And now I'm so, like, he has improved me so much in the last few weeks. Perfect. You're the singer. Yeah. But, but even getting you in on that, like, you can do it. Like, you've got it too. Like, you've got great tone. You've got great carry. Mm. Like, we have it. Like, and now that I've been working with an actual coach that is pushing, and, and he's telling you every day, hey, stop real quick. You did this and it fucked it up do this now next time it was like oh fuck i've never heard that before yeah let me try that like it Mm. was it was night and day like and i never knew like to me thinking about voice or or singing and stuff like that it's like you can't teach somebody how to sing like they just have it or they don't but having someone halt you and be like no you fuck that up do it again and do it like this it was like oh shit this actually works that's cool so i'll entertain it yes get in on that uh, I actually sent him to Derek too because Derek was asking. Derek Wida yeah. was asking for a voice coach. I was like, "This is your man. Like he fucking knows it." And so. uh, I think they Facetime a couple times the other day, and Derek texted. Me, What's up? <laughs> this is good. 
So there's my 27. What about you, Ross? Uh, I, w- I would have to say working on the book with you was uh, was one of my highlights of, of the year. Uh, it'll never come out, but it was my highlight of the year. <laughs> um, uh, it's I, brutal. I, uh, it's brutal. I, usually I'm, I'm isolated and alone during like the writing process and all of that shit. It was fun to write something with with somebody else and uh and you came out here for a few weeks i came out there for a few weeks and uh we got to hang out spend a lot of time together and and write together and um i i never enjoyed you know i've been in a million writers rooms and rewrites and for scripts and all that shit for years and i've never enjoyed those people um it, it sounds strange to say but they're all like pretty dorky and like I, I never had anything in common with them so it's not like we were bros or ever hung out or any of that shit. And then with this, it was a fucking blast, and it was easy, and it was it was it was really fun. And I we thought had it, I thought it turned out great. Bandanas. Do you remember that? Do you still yeah, have yeah. Bandanas? Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. And um, I, I it was the first time I enjoyed working with somebody else writing, and I, I was really I'm really proud of that book, and I, I hope it comes out soon. Uh, we finished, you know, in June or whatever, because a lot of people are asking. It's still at the Department of Defense. Um, but, uh, that, I, that was one of the funnest things that I've done simply because I, I usually don't enjoy working with, uh, other people writing wise. They're just not my crowd. Well, I will, I will say you having a beach house is, is not the worst of places that to write a fucking book. That fucking is so, so, you gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Go uh, to Wilmington. J- Jared, you were there. With your family. You were there, yeah. Like, just, just you will out. love that place. It yeah. is so relaxing and so... It was so great. It's great for you know, riding. I would go. We were... I would go with Jesse if if uh, if it was just like I could leave my family here. Yeah, and just meet Jesse, Jesse? out there. Yeah. <laughs> like I would do that. Like super platonic, but hang just, out with just Jesse. Pass yeah. that by or Ross and see if that would be an option. <laughs> yeah. And if that's an option, yeah. Barstool Sports just posted this. What? Nice. <laughs> it's a guy in our fuck letter shirt. That's great. Oh no right? way! That's great. That's great. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I know you had fun, Jared. I, I heard, I heard a lot about your fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What does that even mean? Did you hear his fun? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think. I'm I, sure you did. No. I, <laughs> it was, it was, Ross, uh, I left uh, that uh, place immaculate. You did. My pussy. You did. You look, you, you were the clean, like, that's the thing. We make fun of Jared all the time about how disgusting he is, but you were the cleanest dude on the planet and like, <laughs> shit. I, you really take hey, care I'm of I'm not your... clean, but I always leave a hundred bucks for the maid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I washed the entire bedding. I cleaned the bathroom. I cleaned everything should in the be, house. You should be happy that, you know, you do normal things that people well, that, do. That's exactly I clean the it. house after that I defile normal. Like, it. Somebody let me use their place, so right. I'm going to walk away from it, Yeah, you know? Okay. For Either sure, equal or better than I left it. And you left the best I, gift ever, by the way. I the, left him rap snacks. Oh god, I laughed me my and ass Jack. off. I, me and Jack left him rap snacks. Really? Jack yeah. Mandeville Fetty, was out Fetty here Wong. as well for the live show in Wilmington, and uh, I. So I, 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 don't know. You never said anything, and this is a credit to you. You never said anything, and then like you know, I'm working the other day, and I open up this uh, one cabinet, and all of a sudden, boom! I was blasted with Fetty Wap like, rap I, snacks. I put, I literally put the like I positioned it so I knew yeah yeah yeah, yeah. catch it <laughs> and the thing the, here's the thing about Fetty Wap the rapper if you don't know who that is he's missing an yeah. eye he's missing an eye and so on on Fetty his, Wap's missing an eye he's Why? missing an eye so on his own bag of chips the the missing eye is on the bag of chips and I mean I fucking died laughing like I I couldn't believe it I could not believe I put his missing I, eye on there I, I do have to add. Another 2017 moment is definitely the live shows. Yeah, in yes. Denver, that was yes. so cool. That was a, like a blast. We we were on a stage with a bunch of people that came for us. <laughs> yeah, and they were yelling things, and it was really fun. And we they got to play music. Yeah, yeah, that, like, that, that there was, was a lot. Of, there was a lot of people there too. I know that that was one of the that was one of the that funnest really things cool. ever. And I hope we get to like, do a bunch of those. First in time I ever performed live music. <laughs> so that was and you did something. fucking outstanding. Yeah, you killed it. Well, we, we we forgot some lyrics and shit. No, we don't. Like, we were drunk. Well, we got whatever. fucked That's up. That's they expect it. Yeah. They expect it with us. It's fine. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, somebody Fuck came it. out. Evan. So 2018 though, we're getting Evan into music. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna learn an instrument. Yes. We're gonna get are you really? Out. What are you gonna, gonna play? Instrument. What are you gonna Skip play? Uh, yeah. Drums, mandolin, <laughs> uh, conga. Yeah. So I have. We'll two. get him one. I fucking hate New Year's resolutions. Like I fucking hate them because you've always have. 
I, Dude, we've had this show yes, before. We've had. And I'm just putting that out there. But I was telling telling Noel today, I was like, something I promised myself was by 30, I'd learn Spanish. I didn't. I, I'm going to go to college and I'm going to learn fucking Spanish or Linda. And I'm going to become an amazing drummer because I already got skills. Dude, I'm going to buy an electronic drum set because I already fucking drum. I, but I want to yeah. be like drum fucking drums good. are my fucking like that. That's the thing I can't do. I got you. And I'm I want to I'm with you. Because if you because can, it bugs me, if you it can bugs strum, me that I I'll can't do it. Because yeah. I can already be, I'm good enough, but I really want to take lessons. Yeah, but we gotta get Evan down. on something. Uh, I don't care. I think I he's mean, a drummer. He's. I'll, I'll get on the. He's uh, just the smart tambourine. one of the group. We'll let him have that. A mandolin. Know? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I, you know what I did play? I played the trumpet. I could, really? I could did you really? Ask to it. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Like, yeah. are you trained? Yeah. Could you play it on stage? At shot show. Eleanor, have you? No, that is. Have you ever squirted? I haven't played that thing for. 10 years oh well okay <laughs> that's pretty impressive. yes but if you have the concept down of how to essentially move your lips and sh- yeah that's yeah, the yeah. hardest part yeah but if we got you a <laughs> muted trumpet or a trombone fuck you got a trombone oh, that's trombone. now we got a fucking <laughs> now we got a ska band you got a ska we got a ska band, band. now with yeah. Me, oh, yeah, yeah fuck yeah plans sell let's out. Be, yeah <laughs> sell out <laughs> with me oh you record company's gonna, gonna give me lots of money and everything oh real big fish coming in there it's a good one uh, let's get yeah. to Eleanor. Eleanor, we've known you for for fuck at least ten minutes, at least an hour. Um, it's actually been an hour and three minutes and fifty three seconds. What was your what was your uh, <laughs> what was your uh, twenty seventeen like? Um, twenty seventeen has been really good to me. Um, I got into ROTC. Which Are you in high school? But eighteen. No, good, good job. Right. She's twenty seven. Twenty seven. Wrong. Yeah. Late. Yeah. A little late. Late bloomer, but. You know that's been a great opportunity for me, but I think my highlight of the year was being all two amazing people. So you don't nice. have to say that. Yeah, you, you don't call have us to. like I, I have sunglasses on at seven p.m. You look like a total douchebag. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It would only be worse if you're in a tank top and board shorts. But you know, hell yeah, tank yeah, top. and and there. Tank top. No, but this I feel like I'm going out. This year with the bang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um, literally. What, what are you looking forward to in 2018, Eleanor? What, what's on What's on, on tap at Twin Peaks? On Twin Peaks? Not- no, no, no. I mean, what's on tap? Like, I want to <laughs> I want to know the beers there. Oh, oh, all the beers. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm they, totally uh, kidding. Not, <laughs> hold on. Hold that. on, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. It's a 20. Okay. 29, 29 degree dirty blonde. Yes. Um, and naughty brunette. And naughty brunette. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer brunettes. They're, that's. Obviously, I'm married I do one. too. Yeah. I do too. I've always. I don't know about better. That. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> when have you ever seen me with a blonde? I don't. I don't know. I. They're just always toilet sandwiches. I don't think they have hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They don't yeah. have hair. Sandwiches don't have hair. I don't even look at them. It's like oh, I get yeah. past the stomach and I vomit. Right. You guys don't even remember anybody's name, but you'll remember her name. Yeah. Yeah. Eleanor. Yeah. Eleanor. Eleanor. Yeah. 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 Ethel. Yeah. Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. Named after Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah. 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 A big fan of her work. Um, I love I loved her early stuff. Let's get to the last drinking bro of the week of the year, wow. shall we? Dip me in shit and roll Let's me in breadcrumbs. Snuck up fast. Here we go. This one was submitted by Jake Lucas. He says, uh, hey, guys, got a drinking bro of the week submission. Uh, first off, I want to say Merry Christmas and thanks for all the laughs. This is coming to you on Christmas night. Hope it holds a little more weight. Today I found out that my sister's piece of shit boyfriend turned physically abusive. After my family was notified by my sister, we lost contact with her for more than three hours. I turned to the Drinking Bros first responders page. Uh, All of the advice and support was overwhelming. One man stood out above the rest. On Christmas Eve, Pete Kercher, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's uh, K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. A firefighter drove to my sister's neighborhood to make sure she was okay. I'm currently stationed overseas, and the rest of my family is on the opposite coast of my sister, so no one could have checked on her. Pete was on the scene before the local PD. Uh, Luckily, my sister was okay and uh, walked away from the piece of shit that started it all, but Pete demonstrated what it means to be a good man, a brother, and a drinking bro. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, that God. gets my blood fucking. That's a great one to end right the year. There. That's a fucking That's awesome. That is awesome. it. Good on you, dude. That's God, fucking amazing. Fuck yeah. Cheers. That's a great one. And if that boyfriend wants to fly to Salt Lake City and fight me, we can do that. Yeah. Knock your you know what? We should, we should actually find out who that boyfriend is. Yeah, we'll do that post show. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cheers to you, though. That's fucking awesome, man. That's a good Pete, dude. cheers. Thanks. Thanks to for the submission, Jack. Jack. To helping a guy out. Cheers. cheers. To help I'm not a drinking out. this Jack that Daniels. Is, All right. That is out of town. That is It's like deployed. midget throw up. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, boys, that is that is the end of 2017. Um, here's to 2018. Fucking, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Uh, fucking A, okay. man. Fucking A for Evan Hafer, Matt Jeez. Best, Jared Catpew uh, Taylor, and Eleanor. Evan, Evan 7030 Hafer. All right. 7030. <laughs> what? what? 7030 Hafer and, uh, and Eleanor. We, we love you. We love all you do. And to everybody working at Twin love Twin Beaks bro. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let him break you down. <laughs> Cheers. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs>